Hi, this is Jody from MCPActions.com. Today I'm going to be teaching you a way to make grass greener and sky bluer as long as you have some color information already in your picture. So this is part one of a tutorial and the techniques we're going to be using today are using the multiply blending mode. So if you're familiar with that, then these, these techniques will look familiar to you. Okay, what we're going to first do is go ahead and pull up a picture that we're going to work on. And this is my original photo right here. This is the original, and it was given to me by a photographer who was actually asking me how she could get her photo enhanced with the sky and with the grass. Because she said the grass looks kind of dead in parts of the photo and the sky looks kind of blah. So we're going to go ahead and fix this for her. First thing we're going to do is I ran my color burst action for my workflow set. And you'll see pretty dramatic change right there just in the color of the photo. You can go ahead and do it manually with using levels and curves and whatever other processing you like. Or if you have a favorite action, go ahead and run that now. And then we're going to go ahead and start working on the sky first. What we want to do is we're going to come up in here under layer. And we're going to do a new fill layer. And we're going to fill it with a solid color. Let's go ahead and name this sky. We are going to change the blending mode to multiply. And for now, you can leave the opacity at 100%. And we're going to click OK. Once this dialog box comes up, we're going to go ahead and click on the blue area, since we want a blue sky, and start clicking around. Don't worry about all the parts of the photo that should not be blue. Just look at the sky. So if you wanted a daytime sky, you're going to probably still keep it fairly light. If you want it to look like it's a nighttime sky, maybe glowing a little bit, you could go over here. And what we're going to do once you find the sky color you like is we're going to go ahead and click OK. Once you've clicked OK, you'll see your whole photo is filled with that color. The problem is, of course, we don't want it on the grass and on the people. So we're going to be using layer masking, which I've done a few tutorials on already. So if you go ahead and watch those, if you're not familiar with masking, it will help you here. We're going to be using black to conceal the effect. So we're going to be using our brush tool, and we're going to be using a soft, round airbrush. And for right now, we're going to start at 100% opacity, which is right here. We will be changing that as we get close to the sky. So we're going to start by rubbing over the photo. Make sure your mask again is selected. And you'll see now we're bringing back the colors that were in the photo originally. Once I get kind of close, I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller. To do that, I'm just using the, my right and left bracket keys. Bra the left bracket key will make it smaller. And you can see I'm painting it on them. And I'm going to go ahead and paint it on the tree as well. Now you'll see I have some spillage. And I'm going to click the X key on my keyboard to reverse the color. And come back in here and paint in the detail that I lost at the skyline and around their hair. And then I'm going to actually have to, you know, kind of go back and forth to get this perfect here. Or close to perfect. Now the next step I'm going to do is, that's a nice sky, but it's very solid. So I'm now going to change the opacity way down. I'm going to be about 25-30%. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and do the opposite. We want white We've been using the white to, um, I mean the black to cover up, so now we're going to use the white to reveal. So we want to go in here and first brush everything on. Now we've got a nice sky, and we're going to go back to black, and we're going to be concealing the effect of the sky right where it hits the grass just a little bit at the lower opacity. And then we'll maybe brush across the sky till we get the color looking pretty nice. Each time you brush, it does take away some of the effect. So if you need to go down in opacity more, you can do that. And I notice I have a little blue on his shirt, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe that away. And you can see now I'm slowly making it look more like a sky, which does vary in color. You can even puff a little bit of cloudiness in here to make it look more variable. And you'll see that's a pretty good looking sky. Um, the only other thing I notice is on his skin. I'm going to zoom in a moment, actually. And I still see some blue in his skin. So I'm going to come in here at 100% and paint that back. And also on his shirt. Okay. Now we've got this looking pretty good. 
and I'm going to actually double click right now on the hand tool so I can make it fit the screen better for you. So you'll see we've got our sky done there and I actually had my snapshot. I used a slightly different color before. I actually like this color better. So I'm going to click on my snapshot I did earlier, but same method and I blended it in so it looks gradient. You can use the gradient tool, but to find, make it look natural at the horizon line, I find it works a little better this way because you can blend it in purposely. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the background layer and I'm going to quickly use the patch tool and there's some kind of red blob right here. I don't know what that is, maybe a barrette or something. We're going to go ahead and circle it and move it elsewhere so we get rid of that. And I do have some tutorials on using the patch tool as well. So you can go ahead and watch those if you aren't familiar with that. Now I'm going to double click the hand tool so we can see the whole photo again. Next is the grass and you could use the same method for the grass. However, I'm going to show you a different way to use the same multiply blend mode. We're going to use the brush tool this time and we're going to make a duplicate layer. So we're going to do control J or command J if you're on a Mac. And let's go ahead and we can double click on the word background copy and we're going to name this grass. So we're on the grass layer and we're going to go ahead and pick a grass color and we'll just, you know, you click on your foreground and select a green. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can do light or dark and I'll just go with this. And now you're going to change your blend mode up here with your brush tool and you're going to change that to multiply. And we're literally at a very low opacity. We're going to change the opacity down in the 30s. We're literally going to paint on our grass color. You'll want to be somewhat careful of their shoes and their jeans, but again, we're going to add a mask at the end to kind of fix that up. So don't worry too much. You can go quickly and we'll catch that later with the mask. And you can watch in here as I blend it in. And if you want to keep this slightly lighter than the top hill, you can, or you can literally match up the color. So you can see we're doing really well here. And now we've got our green grass. The only problem left, of course, is I have spilled onto them because I wanted to go pretty quick. And you could actually, to blend it a little more, you might want to come in to this top hill and just kind of touch on that so the colors blend really well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a layer mask. This little icon that looks like a square with a circle in it, or a rectangle with a circle, if you click on that, it adds your mask for you. Again, white reveals. So we're revealing the pop. We've done nothing. We need to remember to go back to the blending mode and change it to normal to be able to paint on the mask. We're going to keep the opacity low, up, go up a little bit higher to 40 something percent. With black, we're going to hide the effect on the shoes. I'm going to come in here and on the jeans. Now you'll see I've got kind of a halo going. We may want to make the brush a little bit harder. So I'm going to keep my soft to brush, but I'm going to go up to about 50%. And now I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to slowly paint so I'll have a little bit harder of an edge to get around these harder edges of the shoes and the jeans and such. And again, you'll see me just switching back and forth with my X key as I paint. And there you have it. We've now gone from that original to that with the action to that with the sky. And lastly, that with the grass, or actually my last play was that with the grass. I made it a little bit darker. And I would be more careful if I was doing this for real, coming in here and, you know, I would zoom way in to catch all the areas of grass. But just for the purposes of demonstrating this to you, you can see that just because you have dead grass or a dull sky, your photo is not ruined. You can actually save it. So there you go, and thank you for watching MCP Action Tutorial. Hope you enjoyed and learned a lot, and please visit my site again soon. Thank you.